are new questions about the actions of Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby days before Freddie Gray's death. This comes as defense attorneys attempt to have Mosby recused from the case against the six police officers charged in Gray's death. As Jeff Abel reports, those attorneys believe emails from Mosby's office is, are enough to make the prosecutor a witness in this case. Three weeks before officers chase Freddie Gray through Baltimore's west side, state's attorney Marilyn Mosby had asked police to step up their enforcement here. In an email to police, a top strategist in her office wrote, State's attorney Mosby asked me to look into community concerns regarding drug dealing in the area of North Avenue and Mount Street. Her office even attached photos of the area where emails show police agreed to perform daily narcotics initiatives. It essentially pulls the state's attorney's office into the chronology that led up to Freddie Gray's death. The emails are part of a motion filed in circuit court on Tuesday which calls on the court to remove the state's attorney from the case against six Baltimore police officers. Defense attorneys say Mosby could become a witness in the case, saying this is a case where the witness and the prosecution are one and the same. Defense attorney Warren Brown isn't involved in the case, but believes the new information could benefit three of the lesser accused officers. They're doing the bidding of the state's attorney at that point in time. They are doing the bidding of the state's attorney. But for her request, it's going to probably be shown that they would not have engaged in the police work that they engaged in that led to Freddie Gray being uh, taken into custody. Police Commissioner Anthony Batts was asked what he knew about Mosby's emails. Well, I don't know, I don't know the background of that, and I don't have any particulars on it at, at all. That was Jeff Abel reporting. Mosby's office has yet to comment on these emails. Earlier, though, her request for a gag order in the case against the six police officers was thrown out after it was filed in the wrong court.